Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and today I want to come to you with an unboxing video. This is probably going to be a pretty simple and short unboxing, but I'm making this because I want to build another gun. I want to have another project that I assemble some cool gun for myself, and today I'm going to unbox the most important part of this build, and that is going to be the fire control unit. And as you can see, this is the Sig Sauer P320 fire control unit. So in the eyes of the law and the ATF, this is the firearm. So I picked this up from a local FFL that had one in stock for about the going rate. So I'm gonna build a P320. What was really interesting about this is that when I filled out the ATF 4473, it was submitted as a receiver, not a pistol. So I guess in theory, I could drop this into some type of chassis with a stock that has a 16 inch barrel and it would be completely legal because it is just a receiver. But I think I'm gonna build a pistol out of this. I may SBR it in the future, maybe get one of those awesome B&T FDE P320 chassis systems, but right now they seem to be out of stock everywhere so hopefully they're gonna make some more of those and bring them into the country but let me adjust the camera let's unbox this thing and I want to know what you guys think I should do with this how should I build this p320 I got some ideas that I'll share with you as I'm unboxing but I'm curious to see what you guys have to say all right so here is the box that it comes in pretty attractive packaging from sig so let's go ahead and open this thing up and this is gonna be a pretty short unboxing video because what can I say about it? It's just a fire control unit. And there it is. Now, I do gotta say, I do like the fact that it is in the Coyote Tan. The one thing about these fire control units from SIG that I don't like, and I've talked about this in other videos, I'm not a huge fan of these flat face triggers, but they don't make one with a curved trigger. The only way you can get one of these with a curved trigger is if somebody decides to take it out of their particular pistol and just sell it as is. But I decided to go this direction. This is supposed to be kind of their upgraded fire control unit. So I'll just get used to a flat face trigger in this particular build. And it also comes with the takedown lever. That's really important because that's what keeps the whole fire control unit in whatever type of chassis or frame that you want to put it in. This is the serialized part. The serial number is right here and the maker's information is on the inside of the frame. So as I said, this is legally a firearm. Yeah, I know it's crazy. The only other things that come in the box is the owner's manual for a six hour P320. So I guess because technically this is a P320, they give you the owner's manual for the whole gun even though it is just the fire control unit. So that's what's in the box and what kind of project I want to work on here in the future. I think I'm gonna go for one of those awesome tungsten infused frames. Those look really interesting. They're a little bit more pricey than the standard polymer ones. I wanna get some type of flat dark earth, longer slide for this. Uh, definitely wanna go with a threaded barrel for a suppressor. So I'm just kind of curious to see what you guys think I should do. And if you guys have ever built a P320 from just the fire control unit and what you guys did with it. So there you go. Just a quick unboxing of a future project here on the Texas Gun Vault. And I'm kind of asking you guys for your thoughts and ideas. So I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comment section below. So as always, thanks for watching.